Hi, this is Charlie Montotiel with Blue Bear Flutes and BlueBearFlutes.com. This is just a really quick video for you. Uh, something I wanted to share, I thought that maybe everybody could probably benefit from. And it is one quick tip on playing the Native American flute. And honestly, this works for just about any instrument. It is just one tip that you could use that will make you a much better Native American flute player. And honestly, if you think about it, you can apply it to many different facets of life. You can actually use it to make you a better flute maker or a better writer or a better screen actor or a better driver. Uh, you know, this works for just about everything. It's something that uh, as a child, I didn't know much about, but once I started doing modeling and uh, speaking in public and this kind of thing, I became incredibly, almost overly aware of it. And uh, it's, it's very simple. And it actually kind of branches off into a bunch of different categories. And I want you to think about the basic, you know, stay focused right here. And then you can branch off of the categories yourself down the road and find out different ways to apply it. Uh, it is self-awareness. When you're a model or an actor or even just a public figure, a lot of times you might hire someone to basically like an image consultant is what they call them. Uh, you might hire them to look at you and mold you into who you think you need to be or the company needs you to be or whatever it is. You know, there's, there's a way that they can do that. And you can use this benefit yourself even at home if you're just a Native American flute player thinking I'm not ever going to play for anybody. I just want to play for myself. You can still benefit from this greatly. And it's self-awareness. You know, it's knowing where you're at, knowing who you are, even if you don't know who you are, knowing a little bit about who you are, knowing your instrument, you know, knowing how to play this thing. That level of awareness is incredibly important. Uh, knowing where your fingers need to go, you know, and like I tell uh, some of my class that I've had in the past, you know, if you put your fingers on the flute and then take them off, you don't have to think about where they go now. Your fingers, if you put them there, and you take them off and leave them nearby the holes, guess what? They know where to go already. They can do this all by themselves. I'm just thinking, put your fingers on the holes and I'm not even look at it and they're going there. Self-awareness is so critically important in how it is that you can do things. If you know what skill set that you're in and you're a beginning level flute player and you focus on when you're performing, for example, not when you're practicing, but when you're performing, this is your spit shined and you know super polished maybe spit's not a good word but really super polished version of yourself that you're trying to convey whether it's for your pets or for people out in front of you or you're standing in the window of a uh, clothing store playing the flute uh, anyway for whatever reason knowing what your level is is incredibly important knowing not to overstep your boundaries unless you're able to and kind of have the ability to go there. So like if you want to play the scale, play it the absolute best you can. Um, if you want to do something kind of neat with one finger, do that the absolute best you can. If you want to do something kind of cool that you might have seen somebody in a video do, So anything that you do, your self-awareness, knowing where you're at, what your surroundings are. I'm listening to the sound of this room. I know what my environment looks like. I know what it is that I am doing, what I'm capable of. I know how much air I used. This is one of the really good tip that a, a music teacher I had when I was young taught me. How about this one? This is a really good one. Whoops, I made a mistake, right? Not necessarily. It's only a mistake if you do it once. <laughs> if you do it more than once, it is a technique. So find ways that you can use what you know, use what you have done, whether it be on accident or on purpose, 
find a way to use that to your benefit. And, uh, you know, I think it'll make you a really great flute player. It's worked for a lot of people, I know for a fact. So, uh, anyway, just something quick, something I wanted to share that was on my mind and maybe help you uh, learn a little bit more about Native American flute playing. I know I'm just some guy on the web that's made a couple dozen albums and done a lot of crazy stuff in my life with this beautiful instrument and uh, played in front of a lot of people. But uh, that's just me. Anyway, I hope that you guys have found some use in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you got something great to say. We appreciate it. We love hearing amazing things that are really great. And some things that aren't amazing, we like hearing them sometimes too because they're funny <laughs> as anything. Just keep it, keep it, uh, you know, community censored. But uh, anyway, once again, Charlie Montotuyella signing out for Blue Bear Flutes, bluebearflutes.com. Don't forget to check out our other videos. We've got quite a few of them. See you very soon.